Welcome to another video by Ferros Technology. Today, we're going to show you an optimization technique that I needed to use in order to get my bookstore working the way it should have worked. So let's get started. Here we had a folder and as it kept filling up, you'll notice that there's 22,207 items from the last time we scanned that folder. Every time the app had to go search for a particular book for a particular ISBN, it had to look through all 22,007 records to then find the picture and load the picture in a window. We felt that if we could avoid that time, we could speed up the process significantly. So here we go. What we did find is that Windows Explorer would return to us information that we could tap into. It had an Olay object function that allowed us to then tap into and look at the hard drive straight from our VBA code. So we needed to instantiate an object variable that had reference to the file system object. And by doing so, then we could tap into it and find out the get folder, or we could find out if the folder existed and we could actually get the files. We could load the files. We could do a lot of things with the files once we uh, got it, or we could just look at the name. When we set up that function, it then allowed us to reference it by code, which then of course allowed us to put those names into a table and tap into the table instead of looking at the hard drive for every single file. So it optimized. In fact, the optimization went from about 50 books processed every hour to about 200 processed every hour. And it sped things up tremendously well by a factor of four, which helped a lot. So how did we do that? We started with a folder object. The folder object then had a collection of files that we accessed with a, a, a variable called my source and dot files, which could then be looped to retrieve then the names file dot name. So we had a, a, a variable called file, which was tied to the files, file names and my source, which was tied to the folder object and then we continued on our way. So this is how it works. We started with a menu and this menu, in fact, um, I made a, a video just recently about how to create these kind of menus so you could get into each functions, open the different files and folders and prep uh, each fo form that you're going to use. We're going to look at this rebuild speed entry button. That's when we put it in design view, looks like this and it had a on click event which we could put an event procedure behind so the button is command 104 we'll reference that uh, at the beginning of the vba code so here's the vba code notice all the way from the beginning private sub to the end end sub it's not a very long subroutine but it is quite functional so we'll start by turning off the set warnings and at the end you see the set warnings are turned back on okay we're going to run a query that gets rid of the data in the existing table so that we could repopulate it that table looks like this it's only got one field an isbn id because when we compiled the pictures the books we tied them to the isbn that was on the book we then ran this table file list delete which is just delete table file list dot star from table file list. Very simple uh, delete query. Then we dimensioned a variable called DB as the database and RS as the record set. And my object, uh, we're going to dimension three variant objects, uh, my object, my source and file. Now we leave them as variants because we're going to use them once for one thing and we're going to then discard them at the end. They don't need to be perpetuated. I don't need to dimension them to a particular length or anything. They're going to be objects that really just point to the objects on the, on the hard drive. So they're gonna be very temporary in nature. So we're gonna set my object to create object and it's gonna be a file system object. 
then my source is going to use that file system object and it's going to use its get folder option there. And by doing that, we're going to see the folder there, Merchants Wagon Files Business Pictures. Okay. So that's the folder that we're, that I showed you a little bit earlier. So we're going to set the DB variable to our current database and the record set to the table file list. Now, table file list is the one we cleared out with the query uh, up above. Now, the real work is being done in this little for next loop. So we're going to loop through the files in mysource.files. So for each, we're going to use that for each loop that we talked about in a prior video. We're going to look at that and we just a little quick error trap, but just in case in that business pictures folder, we didn't have a picture of a book that's tied to the ISBN number. We have, we had other pictures. And if we had other pictures that were named other things, so if the number wasn't numeric, we could quickly check to make sure it was a picture of a book rather than other pictures. So if it's numeric, in other words, we're going to give it the left part of the file name and notice there are six characters that are always going to be in every file name. We appended dash one dot JPG to the end of every picture. This allows us to strip that dash one dot JPEG off of there and then check to see if it's a number. Well, if it is a number, then it goes into record set dot add new. So we're going to add a new record and the record set exclamation point ISBN ID is the name of the field equals the integer left file name length file name minus six like we did uh, just up above to check to see if it was numeric. And that is the end of that particular file set. It loops through all 22,000 records in about 30 seconds to 60 seconds. Uh, doesn't take long to read the hard drive and load them all into the table. And then we're going to close out and deconstruct all of our variables. So really quite simple. Once we cracked the code of figuring out how to get a file system object, how to then read from the hard drive, uh, we're going to go ahead and put the, the links to all of the research that we did below to understand what those did and all the other things that they can do beyond what we put in this film. We'll post those uh, links down below as well. So if you uh, got something out of this video and uh, are willing to hit that like button. We'd really appreciate it. it. Helps the channel out and gets this video out to other people. If you'd please subscribe, we'd have a great chance of giving you more good information in the future. Thanks.